In this video, how to use Android Action Blocks for simple everyday tasks. On the 21st of May, Action Blocks on Google was released, and what it does on the left hand screen is push through on the right hand screen here two of my phones simple square or rectangular blocks that once tapped actually do something like in my example play music or navigate home or play some ocean waves if you're tired the way it started as an idea on google play as it says is action blocks make routine actions easier you can set it up for yourself or your family or your friends it's under the hat of accessibility but it can be useful to anyone and it's taken me a little while to figure out how it could be useful to me and that's why I'm sharing it to everyone else. On the official help we have, or Play Store rather, you've got this example of how to set it up with the assistant is going to call my daughter in which case there is the picture of the lady who is the daughter and the visible block name is call my daughter. On the right hand screen is how it's set up. That's it really apart from to say as a demo type from me is you set it up by creating an action block you put in the information of whatever you want under the examples that I've just said or you know however you choose to do it and then you can add a icon if you like of an image from your photo library camera or symbol here are the symbols and they're very simplistic they've got to be placed on your home screen and to try out really really easily so on my tablet there it is, play music on the bedroom speaker, done and sorted. Now to step back, and this is a short video, is to say, and this took me a couple of weeks to figure out, is what do I personally set up for me? And I came to the conclusion that if I am tired or in a hurry or feel quiet or just agitated, I don't want to start speaking things out loud. And so from all the lists on the left of make phone calls and video calls and text messages and control alarms or possibly set temperatures and lights on and off, the thing for me personally, what I felt if I was tired or in a hurry was simply just, look, single tap, play music on the bedroom speaker, Play, which is absolutely fantastic musician, is play Sarah Yaros on the bedroom speaker or play the head and the heart. One thing when I'm out and about driving is one tap to navigate me home from wherever I am is really useful without mucking about with Google Play or Android Auto. And then if I'm feeling like, you know, very tired, just play some ocean waves just to reset my brain. So that was it. Look, this is almost like a how to get started with something or see a different angle on things. So this is under the hat of accessibility. It's Android Action Blocks. You can install it. And that's how I've set it up. I'd be delighted to hear from anybody how you may use it or set it up too. As always, Mike Downs at YouTube. See you in the next video.